Hello, and welcome to The Lucy Lou Show, the fueling station for your mind, business, and life. And now, here's your host, Lucy Lou. Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to episode 132 on The Lucy Lou Show. This is your host, Lucy Lou. I would like to invite you to my next workshop, I Am Remarkable Workshop which is a Google initiative empowering women and other underrepresented groups to celebrate their achievements in the workplace and beyond. It is absolutely free. It's something I believe in and donate my time to. So if you want to discover how you can speak about your achievements, boost your confidence, and power of persuasion, and improve your self-promotion skills, reach out to me anywhere social at M-S-L-U-C-Y-L-I-U and just message me the word, I am remarkable and I will get you in on the next workshop. It's all virtual. I won't be pitching you anything. It is just my passion to help you feel more confident. All right, so let's get back into today's topic, forgiveness. I want to talk about forgiveness today because it is such a powerful tool. And if you want to live a more joyful life, it's essential to learn the power of forgiveness. A quote I love by the renowned author Louis V. Smith is, To forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. Practicing forgiveness can have powerful health and well-being benefits. Many studies suggest that forgiveness is associated with lower levels of depression, anxiety, reduced substance abuse, higher self-esteem, healthier relationships, and even stronger immune systems and greater life satisfaction overall. Contrary to what some may think that forgiving is a sign of weakness or giving your power to someone else, forgiveness is actually super powerful for yourself because it is all about owning your own personal power. Forgiveness is giving yourself the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to heal. Forgiveness means giving up the suffering of the past and being willing to forge ahead with inner peace, the freedom to live life to a higher potential. The potential I so believe you have even more than you believe in yourself. We can find that some past negative experiences are usually blessings in disguise if we can create the place for forgiveness and true acceptance in our hearts. I'm here to remind you that forgiveness is completely your own responsibility. It has nothing to do with another person or who you are forgiving or who needs to forgive you. Only you can unlock the door to your own prison and shift your life from your self-imposed limitations to true freedom. Only you can take your power back and focus on your own desires instead of taking revenge or living in the past. Don't do it because of any other reason than to do it because you want to live your life with freedom and passion. Do it because you value your desires and how you would like to live life on your own terms from now on. Create an action plan on how to shift your resentful thoughts when negative feelings come up. Even once you forgive, some old mental patterns may still come back or be triggered. Write down your affirmations or manifestos of what you will tell yourself to remind yourself of your forgiveness and shift back focus to your true desires. And the secret to forgiveness is to release all your expectations from someone else, anyone else other than yourself. 
This includes expectations of forgiveness or apologies from others or changes in other people's behaviors, because those are things you cannot control, and we only want to think about the factors that you're able to control. Now, to make things clear, forgiving doesn't mean accepting unacceptable behavior. If the person does not change, it is your responsibility to do what's right for you. However, by the act of forgiving and experiencing the power of forgiveness, it's all about you regaining your power back and living your life and moving on to what matters to you. I challenge you now to make a list of people you need to forgive and what you want to forgive them for. Even more importantly, this can also include what you need to forgive yourself for. Don't hold on to any negative feelings about yourself. If you feel you have in the past made some bad decisions or mistakes, forgive yourself from failed relationship. To what you think your weaknesses are, to the people you have judged, it's never too late to forgive and reset your life. Message me and let me know how you benefited from forgiving. Cheers to your thriving life! To all the beautiful souls listening, thank you for joining me on this episode of the Lucy Liu Show. When I'm not podcasting, I am coaching high achieving women in life transitions, getting unstuck. Kissing overwhelm goodbye and living a more joyful and fulfilled life through strategic goal setting and mindset transformation. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe, rate, or share this with a friend. And don't forget to join me for the next episode. Remember, there is always a way, and more blessings are coming your way. For free resources and show notes, head over to LucyLuCoaching.com. 